Here's a quick news update in a minute for Trinidad and Tobago. Isan Constant, the stepfather accused of the brutal murder of four-year-old Amara Lalit, has been ordered to undergo a two-week evaluation at St. Anne's Psychiatric Hospital following his first court appearance before the High Court. Constant, reportedly found covered in feces during his appearance via video conferencing, did not respond to basic questions and was assisted by police officers to change into clean clothes. An investigation is underway regarding an incident involving St. Augustine MP Khadija Amin and a man in Makoya. Amin initially claimed she was being held against her will, as it is alleged that she was hit in the abdomen during a car altercation, but drove away before being intercepted and escorted to Tunapuna Station, where she declined to give a statement before leaving. Take a sip of Caribbean Spring Naturally Alkaline Mineral Water, fresh from the Northern Range in Trinidad. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley's recent five-day trip to the United States for high-level meetings cost taxpayers $818,262.97, according to official records. MP Dr. Rudal Munilal has raised questions about the PM's travel expenses, especially regarding trips like his honorary degree ceremony in May 2023, which cost $400,000 and included meetings with U.S. officials. Justice Joan Charles of the High Court has issued an injunction against Pennywise Cosmetics preventing the sale of Zio brand medical grade skincare products across its 10 stores in Trinidad and Tobago. This decision follows a claim by Skin Health Institute, Dr. Rachel Eckel, and Dermedica Medical Limited stating that Pennywise was not authorized to sell the physician-controlled Zio products. We give quick news updates every day, so follow us for more.